All right. Hello, everyone. Peace here again. And if you're just joining us for the first time on this channel, I want to welcome you specially. You are highly welcome. Okay. Please, I crave your indulgence to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you would be getting videos like this upcoming and you'll be notified when it is uploaded on this channel. Okay. All right. What are we looking at today? Having looked at understanding sex, what sex is and what, what sex is not, the different ways of having sex and um, uh, debunking the sex lies. Today, we continue the series by looking at our sexuality. What is our sexuality? What is it all about? Understanding our sexuality. Understanding the way we act, why we act the way we act. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the natural, I'm going to be focusing rather on the natural order of things. When you, when you check the internet or Google, you see stuff like sexuality test and then we see notions like okay why a man is uh, in love with a man or people of same sex being in love with same sex we have homos homosexuality and why a woman want to become a man or why a man want to become a woman and all those bad dash i call it so because naturally that's not how god designed it that is not the way god wants it to be so in this class in this session i'm going to be looking at our sexuality the way god wants it to be okay so in genesis 2 22 we were told that as soon as the man adam set his eyes on the woman he was attracted to him to her as soon as he set eyes on the woman, he said, Oh, now this is now the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she, she was taken out of me. Before now, we did not hear the voice of Adam. Before now, he saw other things. They were beautiful creatures created, fishes, uh, birds, the creeping things, the animals, elephants, but none attracted him. Huh? None attracted Adam. None made Adam speak out and excel and say, Oh, for truth, this is now beauty. This is now what I want. This is now what I have been desiring. This is now my companion. This is now my bone. This is what is compatible to me. Why am I? emphasizing on that scripture because our sexual makeup our sexuality has to do with our sexual makeup our sexual attractions our sexual um preferences okay so we are going to be looking at it in three categories but first let us look at the general order itself generally just like adam first saw eve and got immediately attracted got entrapped uh, enchanted by her and her beauty naturally a man or men are meant to be attracted to women that is how that's other things men are meant to be attract to 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 be attracted to women especially beautiful women okay men are virtual creatures they are virtual creatures they work with their eyes the, 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 once a man sees sights a thing of beauty, he falls for it. Okay, he walks with his sight, with his eyes before he ever even thinks about it. That's the way a man is wired. That is why you see pornographic images in the internet or on the internet are uh, are full of nude women out of the hundred percent you find at at most a hundred and ninety percent of women of a uh, nude images are women not men why is it so Be because they will sell to the men yeah because the man is moved by what he sees and they sell pornographic images pornographic movies they are mostly made up of women with nude bodies 
men men are moved by those things the the body makeup of a woman they are so attracted to the sight now place place 20 array of men with good body features nude men sample them out there you will see that a woman women are not readily attracted to the body of a man just like the man is attracted to the body of a woman that's because we are not wired like that in fact most of us when we see that when we see that feature when we see men displayed like that and naked in fact we get irritated or it, it irritates us that's because we are not wired that way a woman is an emotional being women are emotional beings they work more with their emotions they work more with their with you can attract a woman more with your sound with sound rather than sight with touches rather than sight First, first before you even touch a woman you will start inciting her with your sound with with cunning words with words that would get into her emotion that is that's how a woman naturally is wired so that's the general um, makeup of a woman now let's go to the nitty-gritty of understanding your sexuality the nitty-gritty of understanding your sexuality okay stay with me on this all right welcome back i said we are going to be looking at this in three categories you're, you're going to be understanding our sexuality in three categories your attractiveness your attractions and your sexual preferences okay let's break it down your attractiveness your attractiveness what is that power of influence you have over people of both sexes both male and female what is that thing that people look, that people sorry would see and are readily drawn to you what's your point of attraction that's your attractiveness for some it could be beauty you see a fair woman with beauty she knows she's beautiful she knows she's beautiful and she uses her beauty to attract men to her she has the, the right curves in the right places she has all it takes to be beautiful now she knows she has that she has that power over men it could be fine legs it could be fine features it could be your talent your gifts you may not be beautiful physically but you have the talent you have the gifts and because of those of those people are readily drawn to you you attract people to yourself and so with that attractiveness you could actually attract the kind of sexual partner you want okay so that's that with attractiveness your point of attraction is your power okay and then the second point you want to look at is your attractions now having have a point of attractions there must be something you too are drawn to there must be something that attracts you readily some ladies are attracted by by men are attracted to men who can make them laugh comedians yes men that are full of humor they're attracted to that some ladies are attracted to men who could ginger their swagger by spending money hmm. they're attracted to rich men men with money some are attracted to men with six pack muscular men hmm. if you're a muscular man you would attract me i can i don't you won't ginger my swagger no matter how muscular you are no matter how handsome you are muscles don't attract me in fact growing up i used to be attracted to musicians if you know how to sing even before i know if you are intelligent or not just know how to sing just know how to play a musical instrument you will catch me i fall for people who could do one thing or the other in the music industry ah i just fall for you no wonder most of my boyfriends <laughs> We're musicians. They were people who could either play the keyboard fat if you know how to play the keyboard. Oh, 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 oh. Come to think of it, mom was even saying, was even thinking that my my husband was going to be a world class singer or a musician or some sort. But eventually, it didn't it didn't work out that way directly. But he loves music. 
he loves music i don't know between me and him who loves music the more in fact he buy, buys um most of the music i play today okay so what am i saying that was what i was readily drawn to that was what attracted me the more thirdly quickly thirdly um we are looking at your sexual preferences your sexual preference we'll get to find out why i'm talking about those things like this your sexual preference is what you would like when it comes to the opposite uh, sex what kind of woman would you like in bed what kind of man would you like in bed how would you want sex to be done in bed how some people love sex in bed alone especially my christian uh, couples some people would like it anywhere else the pool the kitchen the staircase anywhere some people love to be touched this way while some would love to be touched the other way i had a, i had an uncle who was attracted to i have an uncle who is attracted to voluptuous women and when i asked him when i engaged him in a discussion he said ah, slim people would not move my swag swagger what is there to touch what is there to hold so that is his own sexual preference so even if i display beautiful women no matter the talents they have and no matter how beautiful they are as far as they are on the slim side you will not catch his fancy you won't catch his fancy so that is his sexual if it has to do with eventually he married a very fat woman yes very fat woman very fat woman so that thing that that uh opposite that part that that's opposite sex that when you see immediately you see at the first sight it turns your head or it turns you on it's your sexual preference and then how would you love to be touched the best how what how would you love sex to be most people prefer the missionary style most people prefer it hot and sizzling most people prefer uh, quicky hot and rough I don't know how many of us have seen the movie Lucky Wives. There was this particular couple, the wife brings ladies for the husband because the husband likes it rough. And, and so they struck an agreement because she was, I think she was a lesbian or so. I can't remember. But somehow I got to discover that the man likes malhandling women. Haven't you heard of women who likes to be spanked when? Uh, doing the sex act that's what they prefer if they are not sp spank sex is not exciting it's not sweet for them so what's your sexual preference what are your points of attraction what are you attracted to does these three make up your sexuality okay forget what they forget the misconception going on let's talking about people who are being misbehaving and be, being called uh, transgender, who have transgendered or transgendered people who are drawn to the same sex. That's a misconception from the pit of hell. But for the natural order that we, we are looking at today, I hope it has been, it will help you define your sexuality. Okay? Don't forget to share. Don't forget to help subscribe. And don't forget to like, okay? See you on our next video. Remain blessed.